Liam Wegman's orange juice that I drink before and after shows. I always eat toaster strudel every morning. <laughs> yes. Here is apple kind. First, we have variety in this house. This isn't my house, but that's okay. We have a small Pepsi and a regular size Pepsi both in the fridge. I'm not sure whose they are, but <laughs> they will be hopefully drunk at some point. And speaking of drunk, that's what I'm gonna be later. And, uh, <laughs> and I'm just gonna be playing Pokemon. Matt's birthday. Yeah, my... Matt's birthday's coming up, and he got a gift. And so we put it in this bag. <laughs> and then he opened it, and it's sitting there on the counter now. Yes. Nintendo Two DS oh, with Pokemon X. Arguably the most important part of shows. Water. Well, these are mine. You can yes. go get your own. No. It's no. true. Oh. Well. Sharing is caring, man. No, I don't Fine, share. I'll go get my own water. Hey, no, hey, okay. hey. That's instruments. I've been playing drums since I was five. I picked up a guitar when I turned 17 with my good buddy Steven Maximovich. Um, and let's see, I started singing a little bit with Matt, and that got me better at singing, although he's still better, which is why he's a lead vocalist. But yeah, that pretty much answers that question. All right, I've been playing guitar since I was, probably, I think I was 12. And I've been singing since as long as I can remember. And I just got into the synth and electronic music writing uh, this past Christmas, so December of 2013, December, January 2013, 2014. So, so uh, Eric, can you uh, tell me like who's the dumb one in the group right now? There's only two, but I'm definitely <laughs> the dumb one. There's no doubt. I'm always. I don't know. How am I dumb, Matt? I'm dumb. I know, but like. Um, you know, like. I don't know. You just. You, you do weird things. You're just, I'm just stupid. Strange, I'm just You're just stupid. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, see, I don't think it's that I'm stupid. I just make stupid decisions. That, that, that could be a possibility but see, as well. Yeah, so that so I'm, I'm dumb for sure. Yeah. Next question. Who do you think in the duo is going to be going somewhere in life? Well, if we're not playing music together, it's probably going to be Eric because he has a real major in college. I'm an actor. I don't. So I'm just going to go to California and wing it, just see what happens. So if we're not in a band after college, then, uh, yeah, I'm going to be poor, and he's going to be successful. <laughs> True that. About time. Yeah, I'm definitely going somewhere in life. I don't know wow. about this kid. Be cocky about it. No, I'm kidding. Do you, do you guys see that? That's like the cocky swag sitting right there. <laughs> oh, Him just wait, like, sit. just sitting there. Maybe I should sit like this. Are yeah, you going the uh, British style uh, sitting wise or Dude, crossing the legs? Uh, you a female or something? Hey, he has a like, freaking Simba over there. <laughs> no, that, 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 that's like the. Dude, like, I'm like I'm like an evil mastermind. Over yeah, that's there. like I'm the like, gangster type I'm of like, stuff. I've been, I've been waiting for you. Romeo and I have been waiting for your arrival. Right. We're on our way. We're going to Rochester, New York with. Cheese it. Cheez Its? Half another butter and a Pepsi. <laughs> we gotta bring snacks in case we get hungry. And, and what are we driving in today, guys? My 2000 Camry, what up? Bing, 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 bing! <laughs> yeah. Bang! What a beauty. Oh, yeah, I got it. We have now arrived at the edge of the freeway in Rochester. Rochester, New York. While we have our driver, singer. What's up? Luca. That's me. We got dummy. <laughs> dummy. It's okay. Eric. Going on my GPS. Trying to figure out how the hell we're supposed to get to this venue. Because we don't know and we've gotten lost before going to venues. Oh, many a time. So it's not going to happen this time. Yeah, it's been pretty bad. <laughs> well, first we got to go pick up our, um, our filmer slash like photographer slash video editor awesome guy at his college. Rochester Institute of Technology. His name is Silverman. He's smart. He is very smart. I am I am jealous. I'm I'm the dumb friend. Besides Eric, I'm the dumb friend. Because <laughs> I'm an actor, musician, and I don't do anything else in my life. <laughs> No, you're good. Same. Uh, go, go up and set it up how you want.
now I'm gonna go get my own symbol that I luckily remembered to bring because this guy doesn't have enough crashes for me. I'm going to be using a cracked in half symbol as a china, but you guys don't know what that is, but if you watch the show, you'll find out. And essentially, the symbol is really broken, like really broken, and he uses that as a china, so that'll be, that'll be interesting, but whatever. This is why you use your own drum set, and not other people's, but we really don't have a choice in this style venue, so. Grab the 18 inch Zildjian. Let's head back. We're second today, which isn't too bad. Right in the middle where we want to be. Hopefully it'll be a good show today. So you're gonna tape his hands yeah. to the sticks? <laughs> I don't want him dropping his sticks. Like I'll Yeah. You're gonna do it? Make sure I see it. Because I wanna I'll be like, Jordan, you got your sticks? You're like, yeah, I got them right here. <laughs> Paul here after their performance tonight and uh, first question is how do you guys do tonight on your opinions? I think it's done about better. I mean there's a couple things that messed up. Our, our synth wasn't going to work initially when I uh, had it at all. It would have been awful. But luckily uh, it was able to work. I, I mean I wish you could have heard it because you were a little off. Yeah we had some sound issues to start. We were running around for a while trying to get some chords but and my monitor wasn't working. My side monitor was switching. But I mean what we learned from this is that we need a certain chord, you know, you gotta make sure certain things are working, you know. It's, it's a learning process. So we work, we work pretty well, but it went pretty well. And I thought it went pretty, pretty good, you know, overall. There's a beer on that stall. Welcome, <laughs> welcome to the We're in a bed, we're in a bed. Second question for you guys, uh, how do you guys like the venue? How do you like this place? Would you guys come back here? I enjoyed it, actually. If there was a bigger crowd, it would be even cooler. I would like to play the upstairs part of it, which would be awesome. But, really, uh, it's, like, it's like a bigger club, and it's kind of dark, and they actually had a light show for us, which is awesome. And some fog, which is bad and good at the same time. A bigger yeah. crowd would be nice. I disappeared. Yeah, well, you can even, even see me, as you see in the recording before, probably. But the sound guys really know what they're doing, and they're pretty chill. We pissed them off a little bit. Third and final question. Uh, 
final question for you guys. Uh, when are you guys going to perform next? Uh, where are you guys going to go after this? Well, we're not sure at this current moment in time, but hopefully in about once a month we start playing. we got a booking agent now, which is going to be sick. We're going to be playing a lot more. Yeah, but Rochester, we're trying to get out in Syracuse, trying to record a demo for you guys. Yeah, we're working, we're working with RT Booking, excuse me, RT Booking in Rochester. Um, we're on like their cycle of shows, so we're going to be on at least once a month, and then hopefully with a bigger, with a bigger crowd basis, we'll be on like every weekend. So, be killer. We're stoked. So, got a lot of stuff around for us. Got a lot of stuff planned for you guys. Oh, definitely.